in any other climate at any other time, I would have been super, super, super excited about a live action television show coming to Paramount+. Plus. But given the chaos of the last few days and everything going on with the OGL 1.1 leak, the fact that I'm literally sitting on Twitter right now, um, D&D Beyond just made an announcement about an hour ago. We know you have questions about the OGL, and we'll be sharing more soon. Thanks for your patience. And then suddenly I see this coming out, you know, same day that D&D Beyond makes a statement that they're going to be addressing the OGL controversy soon. I just, I'm torn. I really am torn. Same thing with the film, because I've been looking forward to Honor Among Thieves for a long time. I love Chris Pine. I like Michelle Rodriguez, and I had high hopes for the film. And now it's tainted by what's going on with the uh, OGL 1.1 controversy. And in the midst of all of this, we get this announcement. I just saw this pop up today in my feed that Dungeons & Dragons uh, live action series is coming to Paramount. Um, apparently this was, it's been ordered, yep, Paramount Pictures has ordered an eight episode live action D&D series for Paramount Plus. Uh, we first heard about it in 2021. At the time, Derek Kolstad, who was the creator behind the John Wick series, was developing the show. But now, uh, Variety is reporting that Ross and Marshall Thurber will bring the show to life. I guess he wrote the pilot, also going to direct it. Um, it's a co-production between E1 and Paramount Pictures. I believe E1 is Hasbro's film division. It says we don't know anything about the plot yet or what aspects of the world the series is going to pull from, but we just know that it's going to be a live action show. This is a funny uh, thing for them to say at the end of this um, the populator of Dungeons and Dragons continues to skyrocket, so one can see why Paramount wants to be attempting to strike while the iron is hot. We know can't wait to see beholders displaced to beasts and Tiamat fighting off warriors and wizards on our TV screen. Well, I think maybe before this controversy over the past few days, the populator of D&D was skyrocketing. I don't know so much about now. Regardless, I think this is it's news, right? And at this point, there's a part of me that wants to celebrate the news because I love Forgotten Realms. I love Dragonlance. I love, eh, everyone to a lesser degree, Greyhawk, you know, that kind of stuff. It's mostly Dragonlance for me. Forgotten Realms is a second. But those are my preferences. But we don't know what world the show is going to be set in. Probably Forgotten Realms because everything official D&D these days is Forgotten Realms, so they try to push that product. Um, and given that their focus right now seems to be on pushing tabletop as their primary i would say this is definitely going to be a forgotten realm show that's going to be heavily promoting the player's handbook the dungeon master guide and all of their tabletop books and getting people to come over to to D D beyond and all those other things um so i'm torn because on the one hand i do want to be excited about this but on the other hand the ogl controversy has me sitting here going yeah can i ethically support this um should i just shut that part of my brain off. Maybe this is a uh, cover. Maybe this is just, hey, look over here, guys. Look over here. Don't worry about the OGL 1.1 controversy. Look over here. We got a new show coming out. It's going to be better than the movie even. It's going to be cool. Look over here. Look over here, guys. I just don't know what to think right now. And like I said at the beginning of this, in any other circumstance, in any other time of my life, this would be the most exciting news. Right now, it just feels spoiled by... What's going on with the controversy? I am not in the boycott Wizards of the Coast or boycott Hasbro stance. I just don't have that mentality. I am concerned about what everything's going on, and I think that there are going to be some very interesting things that come about because of this controversy. Um, but I'm not someone who thinks that someone should be silenced because they do something that people don't like. It's really easy to just go do something else, go watch something else, go play something else. And the one thing that a lot of people have forgotten is that controversy and competition, specifically competition, drives innovation. So it's not a bad thing for this to be happening now because more competition is going to spring up around this. And while there will be some confusion at first, it's going to breed better things for the future. And I think this is potentially a watershed moment when we have a crisis of faith happening with the tabletop world and seeing this this dust up this shakedown happening it kind of feels like we could be seeing the next iteration the next 
innovative stay, stage for tabletop. I kind of feel like 3.5 when the OGL first came out was kind of like that first big moment, and now we're in that second moment. And the reality is that the article isn't wrong in the sense that before the controversy, D&D has never been at a higher point. Like, it is, you've got Stranger Things, you've got Critical Role, you've got... Um, the movie coming out now we have a tv show announcement it's everywhere and you know it's it's one of those things where it it could still be really good even if we're not happy with the current situation with the ogl 1.1 so like i said i'm not in a boycott stage um, i'm just concerned i'm upset like most people are i had to completely revamp our entire product line and make it system agnostic which was not that big of a deal but it was frustrating to have to do that because you know i've really enjoyed the ogl but i can't support the changes that are coming in the pipeline in terms of being a part of that but can i still support a film and tv show yes i can um i could say i could be concerned about everything else so i ultimately at the end of the day uh, I am excited that there's a show coming. I really am. I have to be. Same way I'm excited about the film coming out because the worlds of Dungeons and Dragons, regardless of the controversy that's happening now, the worlds of Dragonlance and Forgotten Realms in particular have provided me with thousands of hours of entertainment ever since I was in my single digits playing video games, reading books, playing tabletop, and having all of these experiences set within these worlds. And, and and a little bit of a controversy is not enough to ruin this for me. So, yeah. I think that it's a cool thing. Um, you know, I, I could definitely say over the evolution of this, I could say from the beginning of the video, I'm not quite sure how I should feel about this, getting to the end of this, and going, yeah, I, I am going to make up my mind, and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm excited for this, even with what's going on right now. So, we're still waiting for them, like I said, to make their statement, but in the meantime... Looks like we got something coming to Paramount Plus. Now, I know some people will say, oh, but they ruined Halo. Subjective. Um, I, I would say that that's subjective. We had a lot of people who like the Halo show. We have a lot of people who like Star Wars, people who don't like Star Wars. A lot of people don't like Willow. I love Willow. Art is subjective, everybody. Um, I don't think you can point to any one franchise and, and say that someone has ruined it. It's just that they might have done things in a way that you didn't particularly enjoy. So for me, I'm going to hold off judgment until I see this actually coming into production, as we all should. Wait until you see it before you cast any stones. Um, but at the same time, um, yeah, weigh this against what's going on right now. It's going to be different for every person. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see more info, find out who the cast is going to be. Are they setting it? What world they're setting in? What age is the cast going to be? Um, are we going classic era, going back in the time, or are we doing the current era? I don't know yet. Are we going to get a you know seasoned adventuring tr you know group, or are we going to get a brand new baby group going off? Um, don't know yet. We don't know anything. It's just news. So thought I'd report it to you guys. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon if that sounds good to you and you want more. Don't forget to support in all the ways down here. You can join our Discord and our Patreon page. Links are down below, and I'll see everybody in the next episode. Happy gaming.